off your TV's instant match reaction for Rosenbach nil. Everton won. Everton go through to the final qualifying two-legged game before hopefully going into the Europa League proper. Um, not a not a classic performance. Very much a pre-season performance that had many of us scratching our, our hair out at times, pulling our hair out and scratching our eyes out more likely. Uh, Everton started with three at the back, uh, Tom Davis playing wing back, Sandro and Rooney playing up front with a three in midfield of Klassen, Garner, Schneidlin. Um Pickford obviously made his debut as well. Um, obviously started three at the back to you know, stop their their biggest asset, which was trying to score from a set piece, really. Um, and for the game, it worked. You know, for that 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 worked. That got us through. Um, the opposition didn't really have too many chances um, from set pieces. Never mind anything else. We had a corner quite early on, which they got a free header on, which was a bit of a warning sign. But from then on, we dealt with that quite well. Uh, we didn't give that many too, that many stupid free kicks away, um, which was one thing. Um, but but we, we stopped them. They had the most they had really was was long shots that never really troubled us. There was a there was one really good cross in the second half that just whipped past um, the the post. But apart from that, they didn't have too much. But it still obviously was was a very nervy night. Um, we just couldn't get the going at all. Which really frustrated me because, you know, you had, you had maybe two or three good performances out there tonight of a whole team, and that's what really annoyed me is that we never really, we never really controlled the game, and and you know people can say, well we didn't have to get out, we didn't get out of second gear and all these things, but maybe we should have got out of them because let's not forget the Premier League starts in nine days, and it would have just been nice to see just a little bit more from us tonight. Um, going out, maybe finishing the game off early doors, not doing anything stupid, but you don't have to do anything stupid because you know that the, the golfing class should have been there. But um, we did quite, we we kept it, you know, quite simple. But some of the passing was just, you know, the five yard passing was was really really poor, um, leading to the ball being turned over again and again, and it never really helped us build into the game. There was a little period in the first half for about for about ten minutes during the middle of the game where. It felt like we were starting to get a control of the ball. We were keeping it really simple. We were keeping the passes really simple. We were just moving it round, um, but that didn't la that didn't last too long. And there was one where we kept the ball really well, and there was one sloppy pass to Ashley Williams, and he ends up kicking it out around the half, you know, around the halfway line. And that's what frustrated me tonight: the lack of control in our play. That always it always felt like they had an opportunity in the game, and really, that was the only thing. I mean, when you're playing the game, it's a little bit different, but as a fan. You're watching that, it, it, it gets a bit frustrating. And I know where we are, where it was still pre-season, but it's the fact that it was a lot of the players doing that, not just one or two. You can't... I mean, let's be honest, the likes of Wayne Rooney didn't really have a good game. Klassen wasn't 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 very good. Snydlin and, and Garner, I thought, were really disappointing for the levels they set themselves. Um, so, you know, from that point, Sandro might have just been a little bit too busy for me. It was this was mentioned last week when he came on. At times, I think. Listen, it's his first competitive start, but at times I think he's a little bit too busy, and he just needs to settle down a little bit and just play through the middle. And that will, I think, coming into this Everton team, that will help him, and that will help the rest of the players because they'll know where he is um, a lot more than if he's always on. I mean, you want a striker who's always on the move, but if you're trying to bed down into a system or in, into a style, because there's a lot of new players in there. It helps if you've got a fixed point. Um, I thought that's what Dom Dominic Calvin Loon actually did when he came on really well. Um, but it was that was the frustrating part, and you know we re really didn't create any opportunities. We had a few half chances and a few uh, shots that were um, you know snatched at, or and that was the main, that was the really frustrating thing. We just couldn't get any head of steam. Um, you know that's just the way it is. But as I say, we kept them we kept them down to very few opportunities. Um, second half, you know, something needed changing. You could have changed maybe three or four plays if you really wanted to. But it was Sandro, obviously, with the lack of game time, who went off. And Dominic Calvin Lewin came on. And I thought he played really well when he came on. He showed, if you have a, 
almost as a target man. Uh, and I actually tweeted it saying that's why we need a really good target man. And I wasn't being disingenuous to Calvin Lewin. I was saying if we had a target man who's top class, then we get a hell of a lot more out of this team. That it would give the team a focal point, something to aim the you know someone to that it will stick to. And I thought that was missing in the first half because Rooney's always on the move. Dominic Calvin Lewin, uh, sorry, uh, Sanjo's always on the move. Even Klassen, you know, coming from deep. And with the lack of width, even though we had wing backs, we, we you know, I felt like we really, we really needed that um, when he came on. And yeah, for you know, his first two or three times he got the ball, it was bouncing off him, or he made the wrong decision. But you could, you can see that him staying down the middle just helped us have someone to, to, you know, to give the ball to. And the goal came, I suppose, right at the perfect time to, to just before they, you know, they. I thought they would have gone for it a little bit, bit earlier, and they didn't. Maybe they were thinking, "Well, the last ten minutes, we'll have a, we'll have a real go, uh, and maybe the fitness will show if we get them into extra time." And we just scored right at the right at the right time. And to be fair, it was good way, good way from Rooney, good way from Klassen. But Carnival and Lewin just playing down the middle, just just playing off the court, you know the shoulder of the striker, really helped. Where you think you feel like if if Sandro had still been on the pitch, he might have just dropped off a little bit. Um, and wanted to join in there, and at times we're gonna need a striker who just does that, and just and just stays up front. And um, you know, it, it was a, to be fair, it was a great finish because I thought it's, I didn't think his first touch was 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 that good. I wanted his first touch to be further ahead of him so we could use his pace. But his fit, the finish was it was tremendous. You know, really good composure, and it, it's a great it was a great finish. And once he scored, that was the end of the game. You know, two 0 up, they would have needed three goals to win it. Um, but well, you know, I I just I don't know whether we went into these games a little bit undercooked. I don't know whether playing just three preseason games and two of those weren't really you know we weren't really physically stretched. I know it's hard because of the time of the games and you've got two games in a week. Um, you've seen other teams in preseason and they're playing maybe two games in two days and maybe have played a few more games than us or have played in tougher conditions. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know whether it was a bit of a gamble. It was almost like he was using these games as the pre as as the preseason and that, but that left you know me heart, me mouth a few times. But listen, we got through. As I say, you know, I thought Dominic Calvin Lewin played really well when he came on, and you can imagine someone like Giroud playing down the middle and having Sandro on one side and Rooney on the other side and letting them be busy and letting someone be right down the middle for us. Um, I think that's really what we need. But the other positives tonight were. Michael Keane was excellent. You, you know, okay, I'm not going to... You can't say Jack Yelka or Ashley Williams put a foot wrong. They really didn't. But I thought Keane had a bit of an authority about him and came out. And the amount of times he got the ball on his right side and played a nice little ball down the channel and even found himself, himself in the opposition half, I thought he was I thought he was really assured and has just fitted straight into this team. He reminds me of, you know, he reminds me of so many centre-backs... Um, that have just come in, gone in. I mean, when Jack Gelker came in, he just when he went into centre back. Not when he first started and played centre midfield, but when he went into centre back, he just straight into the team, no messing about, no no problems. Um, he was he was he was he was fantastic. I thought Jordan Pickford was, um, I thought for what he had to do, I thought he played really well. His distribution. There was one in the second half where they had a corner, and I thought it had gone over his head, but he came out two handed punch, got the ball miles out the area, really. A lot of authority there, and that's exactly what we need, you know. And listen, it'll click a little bit more over the next few weeks. Um, but we do need we need a little bit of invention in midfield. That's key, that's clear from just behind. You know, Classen is a runner, but I don't think he's going to be. He's going to create a yard to and then put a brilliant delivery. And he's he's a runner. He's a, he reminds me of a of like a kale. Um, you know, I, I just think Klassen would obviously. That's why I want him, obviously. Um, and and someone like a Giroud up front. I think if we got if we got like a Giroud up front. I know we're crying out for pace. I know that. I know we are, and we re you know we need someone like Seamus Coleman back as soon as the better. Someone who bombs forward. Um, but that's 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 not can be helped on that. But someone who stayed up front and just is a focal point, and the players know they're always going to be. He's going to be there, even if they just want the amount of times tonight, Rooney. Or Klassen just wanted a little brick pass, a give and go. And when they played the ball, Sandro wasn't there. Or whoever they expected to be there wasn't there. And I think sometimes you just need a fixed point in the team if that's how you're going to play. Uh, and I think, you know, 
we've seen a little bit of what Dot and McCarroll can do tonight rather than being stuck on the right or the left. Playing down the middle suits him a lot better. But if we could go out and buy a genuine, really top class number nine who sits down the middle as a target man, someone you know you can depend on to be uh, an anchor or who can hold her up, then I think this team will massively improve on that. But the main thing is we're through. Uh, the draw is you know tomorrow, Friday. We'll wait and see who we get. But I'm a lot more confident. I'll be a lot more confident going into that game because we'll have all played a few games. Um, it'll be a lot more of an even level playing field than it's felt in these games going going up against the team that are, you know felt I felt would be a lot fitter and organised because of that. But uh, you know we've won two 0 over two legs and we're through and that's the main thing. So give us your thoughts in the comments. Um, let me know who stood out, who didn't stand out, whether you. Feel like we should have had more pre-season games to get us up to a bit more of a higher level or are you fully satisfied that these are like the pre-season games as we go on to the Premier League let me know uh, look out for Baz's uh, instant match reaction as well and our final word thanks for watching Toffee TV we'll see you later